Hey, what's up, everybody? Right, so today's video is going to be a review of The Last of Us Part Two, which is a game developed by uh, Naughty Dog, and it is a PlayStation exclusive. And uh, I bought this game on Friday, and I played it for about 10 or 11 hours throughout the weekend. And you know, this is just going to be my general take on the uh, game. And before I begin, I just want to say that you know the opinions in my videos when it comes to video games or movies or just you know anything and or anything I talk about on this channel you know those are my opinions and I'm not going to like or dislike something because everyone else likes or dislikes something that's not how I roll if, if there's a hundred people in a room and I'm the only person that likes you know a particular movie or video game then I'm not going to just say, oh yeah, I disliked it. No, I liked it, and you know, it is what it is. Um, but with that being said, let's begin the review. And before I begin the review though, uh, I just want to say that there's probably going to be a little bit of spoilers in here. I'm not going to try to give away too much, but it's just, you know, bear with me. So, The Last of Us 2, from someone who played the first game for maybe three or four hours, about six or seven years ago, in the Pretty much what I remember from the, from the first game is that there is a uh, dude named, I, I believe his name is Joel or whatever, and he rescues a little girl named Ellie, and um, they're, you know, they're pretty much like, it's, it's like it's his, um, it's his step stepdaughter now or whatever, and, you know, they're in a post-apocalyptic world, and, you know, they're pretty much fending from themselves, whether it be from the like the zombies, which are called like cordyceps or something, and or, or like the um, I guess remnants of the United States uh, government slash military, which is I believe is called Fedra. So they're 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 pretty much navigating through this world, and and that's generally what I remember from the first game. Um, I, I I don't remember a whole lot from when I like I played it from six or seven years ago. Now, when I got this game, um, you know, I, when I first started playing it, the first couple hours, you know, it, one thing I have to say is that graphically, I was pretty impressed. You know, I have a 4K uh, TV, and I have a, I just bought a PS4 Pro, so, you know, I'm able to experience the game in, you know, pretty high detail and resolution. I'm not saying that makes or breaks a video game, but it's, it, it's, it's visually appealing to me, but... Um, as I as I was playing the game, um, one thing that I noticed is that, you know, as you are progressing throughout the story, I I, I feel like the plot is just it, it's sort of predictable and it's not really like it, it's it's just it doesn't blow you away like it's not. It's it's like you're going from area to area, you're exploring, and you know you have. Like you're playing as a you know the one of the protagonists from the first game, Ellie, who's now uh, I believe really like 18 or 19, and she has a a lesbian uh, you know partner who you know they love each other and stuff, and you know I'm actually gonna talk about that later on in the video, but you know and and I, and I just feel like as you go from place to place to place, it's just you know it's it's not very engaging. Like, you know, you have this massive city. Yeah, you find notes and yeah, you, you you get a little bit of history, but it's just not an immersive, like, you don't have extreme immersive environments. And, you know, it's it's just, it feels a little bland to me. Um, I, I don't know. That That's just how I, like, from just playing it for a couple hours and up until you know, before me making this video, which I, I looked at my last save and it was like nine or, it was like 10, 11 hours or something like that. And, um, you know, I, it's just, I, I it, it, it's not an awful game and it's not a game of the year game. It's more in the middle. It's like, if I had to give it a grade, it would be like a C plus or a B minus. But one thing that I do have to say that I don't really understand is a lot of people, they're saying that this is like some sort of SJW game and you know, it's it has some sort of agenda, and you know, I, I I don't get that feeling at all. Like some people, I feel like they don't understand that. You know, like the 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 world is a very diverse place, and in that world, you have white people, black people, Asians, Hispanics, lesbians, straight, whatever. And 
you know, post-apocalypse, you want to have people come from different walks of life, and that's just the fact. And um, it's not that they're trying to insert some sort of agenda. I mean, it's just, I, I, I just, it's like one of the things that it's like, oh, they're lesbians. Oh, okay, that's no, that's not an issue with me at all. I, I don't, it's, it's not, it's, it, I just don't really like. It's not something that I care about. If that's as, as that's what they are, that's what they are. Okay, that's cool. Now, a family member who um you know is a lesbian and and you know it's i i i, I love her the same regardless it's just I, I don't it's like one of the things that you just don't care about if you're not i guess a bigoted person i i don't really know how any other way to explain that or you know to, to put it bluntly or whatever but um but with all that being said you know there also are people saying that you know in Quote me if I'm wrong, but the the main character Ellie was, you know, they people knew that she was a lesbian in the first game as well. So it's not really that big of a surprise that when she becomes an adult, that she might have a relationship with another woman. I mean, it's, <laughs> you're not you're not going to, you know, su surprise. I don't know. But and then moving on from that subject, um, one thing that was sort of different is that I feel like the lighting in the game, and this is this just might be me. Um, when you go into like dark areas, it's it's just it's very discombobulating. You know, and I understand you have a flashlight, you're going through these areas, but it's like I I, I like I feel like even with in some areas where there is like you know shade or it's a little bit of lighting, it's it's, it's sometimes it's just hard to see because a lot of the it's, I feel like the lighting is just not on point. And, uh, you know, I want to know what you guys think about that as well. But um, other than that, I have to say that, you know, one thing that, you know, I have to say is I wish it could have been a little better was, you know, the storyline was a little bit monotonous. It's, it's just a little bit bland. You know, it's not extremely engaging, but it, there is a storyline there. It's not like it's Fallout, you know, 76 where... They just don't have a story at all. There's no plot at all, you know, but it's just, I feel like it could have been done a little better. Um, but with all that being said, and oh, and last thing I want to say too, and this might be just me nitpicking, but I don't understand like why in some games, why you have an ammo capacity that's like so small. I mean, I like she has a pistol that holds 10 bullets, but then in her pocket, she only is able to have like an extra six bullets and that's only after she upgrades her pistol i mean i have like 17 firearms and i have like probably around a thousand two thousand rounds of ammunition and you know if there, if i was in a post-apocalypse you know i'll take my ar-15 and my glock 17 and probably about three to four hundred bullets a piece and i'll put it in a book bag i don't understand why these people are just walking around with you know a pocket full of bullets and then when there's more bullets to be found they can't you know put any more in their pocket i, I don't know that's just me nitpicking but that's all i gotta say so in conclusion the last of us part two is not a game of the year game and it is not a you know dumpster fire game it is in the middle it's a c c plus b minus ish game um you know it's I, I want to see. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think, and um, that's what I gotta say. Peace. Thanks for watching.